everyone. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely, lovely week. A couple of people have been messaging me start again a couple of people have been messaging me asking whether i could help them uh with some queries about university so if you didn't know i am a second year english and creative writing student so i know a little bit about what it's like so i collected a load of your questions kind of collated a couple of them together because a couple of them had a little bit of um overlap um and today we're just going to go through these questions i am here to be your guru and the way that i'm going to try and organize this q a is like having all like the pre-university questions then all the during university questions and then all the post-university questions to try and make it a little bit more structured but you know let's just get down to it so for the pre-university questions I've got my book of questions questions here. How did I pick my GCSEs, A-levels and my university choice? Now obviously my situation is a little bit different where I'm doing an arts degree so I had a little bit more freedom from with my choices at school but my one piece of advice I would give to people who are deciding whether it's your GCSEs, your A-levels or your university is do what you are genuinely interested in. The one thing that I've learned at university is that if you are not interested in your course you are just not gonna do it. University is all about you being self-motivated to sit down and do the work and if you don't enjoy the work you are not gonna do it. So whatever course you decide to do at university do not pick a course that you, your parents or someone else thinks you should do or you think you should do in order to be successful because actually you're always gonna get better marks doing a course that you love than a course that you don't really love and that you feel you should do because of some external factor. As to how I picked which university to go to, I don't know if it's still the same system in the UK, but you've got your first choice and then you've got like your backup choice. How I chose, I got the, I think it's the Guardian. They have a university table that they do every year and it's basically like a table of like universities like by subject or by rank and it's like you can put different things in like I want the best universities for this subject or want the best universities in general or I want the best universities for these grades and I found doing that was really really helpful so I looked at what grades I had predicted and then looked at the best universities for those grades for my course and having that as your first choice is like a sort of aspirational thing and then for your backup choice having something maybe a little bit lower if things don't turn out quite the way that you want them to and that'll help you definitely get into a university but as well it's important to remember that your backup choice can't be something that you're like kind of umming and ahhing about it has to be something that you as well genuinely love because otherwise there's no point putting it there you may as well just have your first choice you need to be happy with wherever you go to university. So now I'm going to talk about some questions to do with during my university time. So first of all I'm going to just talk a little bit specifically for a moment about my course English and Creative Writing because I had a couple of questions about that. If the creative writing stuff isn't pertinent to you then I'll put a timestamp for when you can skip to to listen to more relevant questions about university this is like a very i'm i'm, I'm doing this so professionally guys <laughs> so the first question is are you happy with what you're studying and would you change it um i am so happy with what i'm studying um english and creative writing is a perfect mix for me because i have the serious side of english literature which is quite analytical in a lot of ways but also i still can kind of stretch my creative juices you can't stretch creative, wait, what am I trying to say? I get to stretch my creative muscles on the creative writing side. So I have that flexibility to do things. I do wish that I'd looked more um, as I was choosing my university, how many options there were on my course to do film, because having done university and gone through half of it, I realized that film is almost my favorite part of it, which sucks but that's okay. That's what you go to university to learn which parts of your general area you love the most. So I don't really regret doing my course at all, no. How free in terms of personal creativity is a creative writing course? Obviously doing a creative writing course is more restrictive than you just writing out whatever you want. I personally find that structure of like, okay, you need to do a 2000 word story opening 
or whatever, I find that quite helpful because it gives me a goal and it gives me some sort of parameters that I can work around. So I personally like the fact that it is a little bit more restricted and I'm not just completely going off on my own. Um, however, if that is something that bothers you, then don't do a creative writing course. Did picking English for university tie you out or make you lose interest in literature? Um, I think a lot of people find this with the subjects that they've picked at university that, you know, they get really sick of it by the end of the three years. And that's why I say it's super important to like pick a subject that you really, really love. Otherwise you're just gonna like completely lose interest and like hate it by the end but that hasn't happened to me like I love English literature I love creative writing and I loved it before doing my university and I still love it now but it has meant that I haven't had as much time ironically to read the books I actually want to do so be careful with what course you pick okay now to more general questions about university life how long did it take me to settle in I think the average is anywhere between honestly two weeks and like six months um a lot of people find it a lot more difficult than me so I think I'm quite a an outlier in that sense but you will get used to it eventually that is the one thing i will say do not worry that feeling of confusion will not last forever or at the very least you get used to just not knowing what the fuck is going on so do not let that be the reason why you don't go to university okay because you will be fine you'll be fine okay you'll be all good how do you make friends at university now as I sort of talked about with work, making friends at university is kind of similar in the sense that you have to put the work in. You're not all seeing each other every day and if you are seeing people on a regular basis because of lectures, then that's probably not gonna be more than 10 hours a week unless you're doing like a really heavy science course in which case you're thrown all together. So the one thing that I would say is really important about university is like making sure that you go to societies, making sure you do get out the house and you make yourself get out the house. Otherwise you run the risk of feeling quite isolated and alone when you really need to because university is the best place for meeting people similar to you. Honestly, in your freshest week, Go to your society's fair, look at all the clubs, sign up for as many clubs as you possibly can, way too many than you'll ever, ever go to. Try them all out, see which ones you like, meet people you like, and that is like the best piece of advice for university I could possibly give you. And with that, how inclusive are societies in terms of LGBT and all of that? It depends what society you go to. So most, if not all universities, I think now have an LGBT society. So if you're worried about inclusivity and you're worried about meeting other LGBT people, go to those because they're great fun. With our one, we have coffee and there's tea and I have a great time and there's just loads of loads of gays. But in terms of other societies, university environments I found have been so, so accepting. Obviously that's not the case for all universities, but I tend to find generally universities and students just don't give a shit about if you're LGBT or not. They're just like, cool, that's awesome, that's great. And of course, if you're a person of color and stuff like that as well, usually universities are quite good and you'll have a person of color rep that you can talk to for your university student experience and stuff like that. So learn who your people are, get all the societies and yeah, it will be fine, I promise. This is gonna basically be a video of me going, look, listen, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be fine. Uh, what is it like to live in shared accommodation and have you got any tips? In the first year, I was in a flat with six other people and this year I'm in a house with six other people. I would say accommodation completely depends on who you're staying with. Um, it's complete potluck, I'm afraid. Some universities do it so you can write a little questionnaire so they can put people similar to you. Do that and you should be fine. Tom? Can you shut your door? Okay. We're all just gonna keep talking. Yeah, can you be quiet? Oi! What was I saying? Right, how your flat works totally depends on the people in your flat. So just get to know each other. Two pieces of advice I would have is one, be considerate of your flatmates and do listen to them if they do have a problem. Within reason, of course, but do listen to them. And number two, if you have a problem with someone or something, I know it's hard, but don't passive aggressively post the problem on the group chat 
or don't put post-it notes on things that you have a problem with. The key to communal living is communication. Talk to each other, okay, in person. You just need to work together. You're all in this together. Once we know, da da da, da 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 da, another world. So, some questions about after university, <laughs> that time that I have no idea how to plan for. Has university given you a better understanding of what you want for your future? Yes and no. It's not as much my course which has given me a better understanding of what I want to do for my future, but rather all of the other opportunities that being at university has given me. So for example, meeting new people, joining societies, generally learning to grow up and live by myself, um, and all the opportunities that have come to me whilst being at university is really the thing that has taught me what I want to do and obviously what I want to do is a continual changing thing at the moment I want to go into filmmaking in some way shape or form it has helped me but it's more the environment which has helped me because it's forced me to actually think about what I want to do because I have to be independent and I have to make money somehow I don't think many people go into university with a clear idea of what they want to do but by the end of those three years you will have a much better idea. And it doesn't have to have anything to do with your university course. Basically, a university degree tells employers, hey, I can work hard. That's basically what it is. So whatever you do for your degree, unless you wanna do something very specific like medicine, doesn't really matter, which is why I say, always do what you love. And finally, my final point, which isn't a question, but I think I need to say it anyway, because I think people don't realize this. And if you've made it this far through the video, I think you're pretty invested, but I'm gonna say it anyway. You don't need to go to university. Like you don't. University is so expensive. It is such a great opportunity, but if it's not for you, it's not for you. There are so many other choices. Getting a proper job, going traveling, doing an apprenticeship. There are so many options and university shouldn't be held as this like higher thing by anyone because it just means that I'm gonna be in debt for 20 years. That's literally what it is. Don't feel like university is your only choice. Just do what you wanna do and then you're gonna be fine. That was such a long video, but I hope I've given you some useful information. Uh, I hope you have a great week. Hope you're all doing well and good. Hope all your university plans get sorted um, and I will see you soon. Okay, goodbye everyone, <laughs> bye.